Hi, this is Mark from the Jeepster Man. And today I'm gonna to talk about something that we get asked quite a few questions about, and that is hubcaps. Which hubcaps came with what, and what wheels do they fit? And we're talking specifically about the Jeepster Commando, the C101, and the C104, which covers years from 1967 to 1973. So right off the bat, let's talk about 1972 and 73, which is a bullnose. And you can see this particular hubcap right here. Uh, it was probably more common on those years. I have seen them on earlier, but mainly that is the year you're gonna see that type of hubcap. Um, and you can see this is a bullnose. It's not a real good picture, but this bullnose in this particular picture here has that hubcap. I also want to talk about the most common hubcap that's pretty much out there that came on the Jeepster Commando. I know this hubcap here is a little worn, but uh, this is really a good replica of what came with the Jeepster Commando that many people bought. Kind of a standard full wheel cover is what they called both of these, um, given that some were offered in later years, offered in the earlier years. And none of this is a rule. I've been working on Jeepster Commandos for 30 years. I'd love to say I know everything there is to know about them, but there is no such thing. So take some of this with a grain of salt, but it'll at least help you sort out hubcaps if you're looking for a really nice original restoration. Let's move over a little bit to what I call deluxe items that were offered. So if you look at this, yes, this is like the Holy Grail. This is what they call the spinner mag. Um, a lot of it because of this magnesium type material that was used in here. Obvious, this spinner and just, you know, a really beautiful Jeep logo. So a great hubcap that was, you know, mainly you saw this on some of the upscale Jeepster commandos like a convertible, uh, like an 8701, possibly an 8702. But Spinner Mag was definitely uh, an offering that you saw on the more upscale ones, even though I've seen them on just about everything. Uh, then you have the magnesium that's non-spinner, which is also kind of an upscale hubcap. Uh, I see a lot of these in the 1971. I see them on the SC1s, a few other Jeeps out there that offered them, um, or a few other years out there and types that offered them. But really, just as neat of a wheel, so to speak, minus the spinner mag and the smaller decal in the uh, center of it, but a really great hubcap. And with that, Jeep's idea during this era was competing uh, when they first came out with the Commando, the Jeepster and the Jeepster Commando in 67, was competing with Mustangs. You know, you gotta think about that. The Camaro was coming out, the Mustang had been out for a couple of years. So the sporty looking Jeep, you saw some remote shifters that looked like four speeds in them, just different things that they had in their mind of competing in that market, only it was a four wheel drive, a sporty V6, four-wheel drive with some really nice hubcaps that are similar to some of those era uh, muscle cars as well. Uh, that didn't pan out over time and Jeep began to be more of the off-road and compete with the Broncos, the International Scouts, along with the K5 Blazers, which were also around. So let's move over a little bit and talk about a lot of confusion on these hubcaps. So this is what's called the Baby Moon. Now, Baby Moon, what's interesting, and I show two of them here, this one has a center cutout in it, which obviously goes on the front if you have lockouts. But this is, says, this, on this one it says not commando, purposely because they are so close that it's hard to tell the difference. But the commando hubcap is just a hair bigger on the inside diameter right here than this particular hubcap. Yes, this is a Jeep hubcap. You see them on a lot of Willys Jeeps but you generally will never see this particular hubcap here fit a commando wheel. So I have a commando wheel right here, and I'm gonna show you. So if you put this hubcap on a commando wheel, you can see and note how the commando wheels have three nubs. You can zoom in here and take a look at these nubs. One, two, three. If you've got a wheel that has four nubs, it's definitely not a commando wheel. Um, so you see these three nubs, however, they're not all alike. So this particular one, this is an original Jeepster Commando wheel. Note that hubcap will not fit on there. See how much room is left on this nub. You'd tear this hubcap up like quite a few people have done trying to fit this hubcap on that wheel. Uh, and also a lot of these hubcaps come with a different color in the center of them than what you normally see the color of a Jeep Commando. 
baby moon. So a lot of them have this blue and things like that, uh, which is really a pretty neat color. And I have seen the smaller or the larger diameter Jeepster Commando baby moon. I have seen this on Hearst in this color. And you note know, Hearst, the Hearst edition has some colors as well, similar to that. But what happens here is this one is a little bigger. So here we have a Jeep wheel and we have, or a Jeepster Commando wheel, and we have a Jeepster Commando Baby Moon. Pops right on there, stays in place. This will fit. The inside diameter, diameter of this particular hubcap, Baby Moon hubcap, is 10 and 3 eighths inch. This one is 10 and a quarter. So just that little 16th of an inch right there is enough to make these not work and fit. So let's talk about wheels for a little bit. Um, I talked about, um, and, and let me say something about this trim ring. Some Jeepster Commandos come with a trim ring that goes along with this baby moon. This is another upscale version, two-piece hubcap that was offered. There's some clips that help seat this particular trim ring. Um, and they're, they're quite expensive if you do find them, and the clips are expensive. Um, but that was another upscale hubcap you'll see, and I've got some different pictures here, a variety of commandos that have those configurations. But let's talk a little bit about wheels that are new and that are available. So this wheel will fit a Jeepster Commando perfectly. Any of these full wheel covers that you see will fit on this. However, the Jeepster Commando Baby Moon will not fit on this. Why? Because this wheel is made for the bigger or the smaller. Well, it's just it's supposed to be. There you go. And you can see that fits right on there. It wouldn't fit on this one, but fits on that one. So you can buy this rim new. This used rim is not available new. Not that I'm aware of, even though we may make them someday. But right now, we do have this particular wheel here which fits a Jeepster Commando great. You can put up to a 30 by 9, 50, 15 tire. So it'll take a nine inch uh, tire with no problem if you're putting a little mild lift on there. Um, however, you're gonna have to use a full wheel cover or a baby moon that comes from a Wagoneer or some other kind of Jeep that is 10 and a quarter on the, 10 and a quarter on the inside. So that's my little discussion about hubcaps. I hope this helps some people uh, kind of understand the differences, what's offered, the variations, and what really fits and what doesn't fit. Um, and I appreciate your time. And like always, if you have any questions, uh, you can always contact us at thejeepsterman.com or on our Facebook page. Thank you.